There are diseases that are not that common, but they can really uh, destroy people's lives, and we can't let that happen. A disease may be rare, but if it's in your family, it's not very rare, and we need to help everybody. We are the only foundation in the world for NMO. This has been headquarters. My mom planted the seed for this foundation five years ago, and it's grown into this beautiful, flourishing tree. NMO patients can come together and really share their stories and become a family. Ten years ago, when we wrote about this disease, 30% of people within five years died. I haven't taken care of a patient with respiratory failure now in a number of years. Our understanding of the disease is night and day different. Patients are diagnosed at an earlier stage and they're diagnosed more accurately. The Foundation has done a fabulous job in facilitating collaboration. There is a clear plan that everybody is encouraged to work towards. Immense amount of data sharing that is unprecedented. It's crucial to bring people together and have them work together and this is the model the Foundation has established. The Foundation integrates the kind of critical thinking, multidisciplinary approach that we need. That's why it's such a successful process. I don't think I've ever seen any field move so quickly. This is the best neuromyelitis optica meeting in the world. I am meeting people who I've only read their papers and seen their names. Bringing people together, putting them in a room where we could shoot ideas at each other. Today's meeting represents a phenomenal evolution of where we were, where we are, where we're going. And it's not just for the clinicians and researchers, it's for the patients. They're the top of the tree. We have the benefit of all these doctors across the world. There's a lot of conversation and engagement. The dialogue continues to happen. The foundation has been able to pull doctors and clinicians and patients together to work for one common cause. A lot of things are possible in this lifetime. The people in the room are the solution to this disease. They've been stepping up to the plate and donating samples for scientists so they can better understand the disease. That really motivates the scientists because you have a model. We're going to create treatments that are life-changing for these patients. There are a number of new therapies based on something called monoclonal antibodies. Using an antibody that blocks the activation of a substance called complement, we may be able to stop NMO attacks. It's a global effort using our resources to be able to reach out and put this trial together. Starting in the US and then North America, France and Germany, the UK, Japan, South America, all have efforts going on to build repositories. This disease has gone under so many different names in different parts of the world. It was getting to know many of these physicians that convinced me this really was the same condition. Not only do we hope to solve NMO, but we hope to advance solutions to other diseases. It can help in Alzheimer's, in Parkinson's, in Huntington's disease, in Lou Gehrig's ALS. I would love to be part of a beautiful history, which is the discovery of a disease and the treatment. Five years ago, I would describe to patients how there's this foundation out there, the sort of little engine that thinks it can. It's great to be able to talk about the little engine that is. I'm seeing a deliverable of something that's going to be meaningful to a lot of people around the world.